Hi guys and gals, Glenn here. I just want to do a quick tutorial on moving a track or moving a part of a track. Uh, last time I was uh, explaining the duplicating and moving and uh, some people just want to know how to move a track. Um, a couple different ways you can do it. One is you can go to the track here uh, that you want to move. Let's say that we want to move this top track down. So you just click on the word audio track. That's like a menu that pulls out and here we can name it, split the stereo track, do all kinds of stuff. But we can also move track up or down. So we're going to move the track down and by clicking on it, it moves the track down. If you want to move the track up, click on it and move track up. Another thing that we can do is just simply grab the track by left clicking it, clicking in the blank space here, and when it turns into a, a hand, you can just left click, hold the left click down and drag it downward, and as you pull it down, it'll move the track down. So that's another way to move the track in Audacity, just pull it up or down. Okay, to move a a portion of a track. Let's say that we want to move this part of the track without adjusting this part, the rest of the track. So if we want to just move this part, then what we would need to do is isolate it. And a couple different ways we can do that. We can take the portion of the track that we don't want and then Control Alt I and that, we'll do that part again. We select the part that we don't want by left clicking and dragging, and then hit Control Alt I, and that will move that part of the track down and out of the way. And then I'm going to delete that part because we don't want it, we don't need it anymore. And this is the part that I want to move. So here I'm going to, um, you can also do the same, you know, the same thing, control alt i get rid of that section that you don't want. And then take the part of the track that you do want right here and take your time shift tool. Click on it, left click on it, and now you can see that it has the arrow to the left and right. That's your time shift tool, and now you can move the track or a part of a track anywhere back and forward in time. If you were to select more than one track at a time, then it will take all of that together and move everything. You see? Take all three, all of this section, it'll move everything back and forth in time with the time shift tool. So if I wanted to just move a single note, let's say there was a drum note here that I didn't didn't want, and I want to move just that single note, then what we can do is control alt i, get rid of the part you don't want. Control alt i get rid of the part you don't want, get rid of these tracks down below that made silence, and then take your mover tool right here and move that note forward or backward in time. In fact, if you want to, you could even uh, bring this note down and move it, use it perhaps somewhere else in the tune. So I would highlight the part that I want, Control, Alt. Um, let's say we want to move that and we want to keep that note there so we could Control D rather and uh, that will duplicate the track by Control D. It'll duplicate it and bring it down to a new track. And you take your mover tool and you move it over to another part of the song. Right. And so now it will play in with the other and if you want to do that and use that same portion, that same note, then left click, highlight it, highlight the part that you want by left clicking and dragging it, and then control C for copy, and then control V, and that'll paste it down elsewhere in the song. Control V. 
And then if you need to move any of those portions of the track around, you can just grab your mover tool and you can slide it back and forth. You want to move the track up, see how it is next to the drums, and then you can align things the way that you want and get them perfectly in line. You can zoom in and adjust accordingly. Well, I hope that helps. And if you uh, then want to mix all of this back together, then you can just highlight the uh, entire track that you wanted to mix. Go back to your regular tool here and <coughs> highlight the second track that you want to mix these notes in with. And <coughs> then go to Tracks mix and render and it will mix those two tracks together you see that's got those now and, and now I'm only working with two tracks this is all one track again <clears throat> and then if this is the way that I wanted this to be time shifted and I wanted these notes to be right exactly there then again you highlight this track and then go to tracks mix and render and it will then mix and render the entire track and you're starting off with one whole track again. So now we're back to where we were, but we've got the notes all moved to where we want. I hope that helps. Leave a comment if this does help, or if you have any other questions, let me know. And join us at GMH Cafe. We have an online community where we're talking about recording, doing things in Audacity, that kind of thing. It'd be great to see you over there. Bye for now. Have a good one.